Hey guys, Monty here. I was asked a uh, comment on my 20 Skyrim mods video to make a video explaining how to install these mods. Now, this is extremely simple and I'll walk you through every step right here. So, this is SkyrimNexus.com. This is where I get all my, well, most of my mods, all my mods now. I did use Curse for a while, but there's not, it doesn't really update all that often, so I've basically disowned it. <laughs> so anyway, the link to this page will be in the description, skyrimnexus.com forward slash content forward slash mod manager. So you just go on this page and click download now. And it brings up this and you would save the file and run it. This is the Nexus mod manager. Um, I've already got it so cancel that anyway. Now, when you download it, you know, run through all your setup and whatever, um, just as you would any other program. Yeah. Then, when you download it, you get this, which is the next mod manager. Obviously, you won't have all these mods installed, but um, I will show you a mod. Oh, I'll attempt to find one now that I might want. So, um, I usually get a good, good mods in the top 100. I have quite a lot, actually, from the top 100. Most of mine are from the top 100, actually. <laughs> um, what would I want? Uh, go enhance blood textures. No, on most mods that have been approved, there will be this link here. Download with manager. Okay, click that. It'll load. Your next mod manager will flash, and as you see, it's downloading. Simple as that. To download, and this will do everything for you. Download, and then it will put in ready to be. Download or <laughs> ready to be installed, even. Um, so, we'll wait for this to get done. Uh, two seconds remaining. Uh, there we go. Enhanced blood textures. We go up here to this little green arrow. Activates the selected mod. Simply click that. This mod was successfully activated. That is the mod installed. Um, obviously, if you want to. Launch Skyrim. Uh, data files, yes. Uh, if you want to go in here, it gets a bit messy if you have a lot of stuff on here, but if you want to go in here and just check if everything's ticked. And that's basically it. And then, if, oh, as you can see here, my Nightingale armor has an update. Click on down. Uh, this is, as you can see, it'll put a wee thing beside it saying if it has an update which this does and ooh a new high res texture one nice just download that one manager and it's the exact same way that has taken quite a long time so you know it's the exact same process just activate the selected mod, whatever. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope this has helped. Um, you know, thanks for watching.